So after a four hour delay for my flight, I made it here to Brighton in the UK from Spain where I'm on holiday with my family. I'm gonna be sharing with you the behind the scenes of this marketing conference that I'm speaking at called EMC with the main man, Matt Wilson, who funnily enough, has just wandered past right there, cheeky little fella. Oh, you didn't turn and see him. Never mind, you'll see him in a minute. Isn't he so sexy? Look at those. Sexy as you guys. <laughs> so I wasn't supposed to be going on stage for another hour, but I might be going on in two minutes. They've had some tech issues and audio issues, but my slides are working. So I might literally be going on right now. I'm gonna go get mic'd up. On your deathbed, I don't think that we're going to be going, but I made loads of money. I had such a great life. It was such a life well lived. I think we're going to be saying, how did we impact the majority of people that we came into contact with? I will always be able to make money, grow businesses, and have a successful online company because I understand this stuff and I truly believe you will experience the same. And we just hit 938,000 in a single month with one of our companies because of this stuff, so it really works. If we decide who we want, if we get really specific with that, if we allow our messaging and our positioning to be tailored to that person, that type of problem so specifically, they're gonna naturally be drawn to us. If we come out with another marketing campaign that talks about the same problem with the same type of solution, they're going to start to get blind to it because they're going to say, I've tried that before. But if we can come in and position it in an opposite view to the market, they're going to go, oh, great, something fresh, something fresh. Maybe this is the thing that will work for me. And once we get them in, they kind of realize that you're teaching a very similar thing, but now you've already got them in and you can deliver a great result for them. So we need to position ourselves as a premium offering in your space to be able to attract the premium clients. Let's imagine that their knowledge of the solution is here. If I start to position YouTube ads, talk about how great it is, talk about how good the targeting is, talk about how profitable it can be, well, I'm getting them up a few notches, but here's where they already were. And they're already thinking, okay, well, this sounds good, but I could go back to what I've already seen other people talking about. Now, if I can start to poo-poo all the other options, if I can say, and here's the issues with Facebook. Facebook's this. It's not good for this. They're doing this. They're kicking people off the platform. They're disapproving ads. Now, the distance between my two solutions, or, or rather the two possible solutions to them, has actually been increased. So I can elevate my solution only so much, but I can actually create even more distance, the fall from what they're learning on my webinar to the next best solution in their mind has now increased. And with a bigger fall makes them go, oh, I feel like a fool if I was to leave this webinar and not take action on what I'm learning here. So that's how you create a marketing message that wins clients. And one more thing, um, I'm flying back to Mallorca to be with my family shortly, but I've got about an hour, so I'm just gonna hang out at the back after my presentation. If you wanna come say hi, grab a picture, hang out, be very happy to do so, and shake as many hands as is possible in the space of an hour. I hope that was helpful, and I will see you all very soon. best thing you could do for this positioning of premium, I'm the best choice, is actually to give a little bit of pushback. Yeah. So what I would do is I'd bake it into your sales script that on the first call they're not actually offered a spot. So on that first call you say, hey look, I'd love to get to know you, what your business has got going on and your brand. Uh, you know, we've got a lot of people that we're, we're due to speak to this week, so I'd like to get to speak to everyone. Um, and then we'll decide who it is that, that we'd like to work with. So I'd love to just get an idea of what you've got going on. Nice. So do a demo first and then a sales call after. A demo, maybe even tell them about a couple of the service that, services that you have, address all their questions and concerns, and then you're the one that gets to say, awesome, let me have a little think about this. I've got my notes, I've got a few more people to speak to this week. Can we talk again on Thursday? And, I, and I'll just let you know what I'm thinking. And they're like, oh, this is firstly refreshing they're not being sold something secondly they're like shoot i'm not even sure i'm actually getting a spot here yeah. now you become far more desirable they're shopping around this lady's offering them a place in their agency so is this chap so is this lady and you are the one that went sorry you're not guaranteed a spot you're the one that's suddenly uh, elevated and the most attractive i think that's the best advice i've ever had to be fair. the aha moment you've given me yeah it's like i need to stop this yeah good you know people people are saying that oh yes start now and perfect later yes i understand but if you want to create that premium, mm. you have to be that exclusive yes. 
person. How much is it? 97 a month. Yeah, you don't want a webinar. Okay. Wait, so w the webinar game's changed a lot now, right? It used to be $1,000 products, yeah? And you would just do a 90-minute presentation, end with a pitch, and you sell a program. Ad costs have risen to a point now, and conversions are coming down because of competition to where they're kind of like this. And oftentimes, you're going to a negative. So we, we talk about high-ticket webinars now, shorter, end with a phone call, and then you close at the end. Those are the webinars that work in the best. For you to even try to sell it as a $1,000 offer is now very hard on a webinar. $97, absolutely not. Yeah, yeah. You'd be better off with just building value on the front end as much as you can in the ads, and maybe just going to a VSL. Mm -hmm. That really good VSL that pitches it for 97, and then focus on the email follow-up to get those extra people in. Maybe if you already price. know that you price. might want to increase your price, yeah. you don't say it at the moment it's happening. Yes. I'd, on my next call with you, I'd yeah. say, oh, by the way, before we go, yeah. just a heads up, um, I'm yeah. gonna be Next increasing my prices forward. soon, just wanted to give you a heads up. It's not gonna be for a couple of months yet, Fine, yeah. but just let you plant that seed. Okay, okay. Everything so, needs okay. to happen, it, the expectations are set up front. That's amazing. All right. Thank you so much for cool, dude. I really appreciate All right, it. All right, you're very welcome. So I just got off stage, uh, headed around the back, just spoken to some really great people and a lot of our clients that we haven't had a chance to meet in person before, so that was awesome. And um, look, you may have seen a few of the clips from my talk, hopefully you got a little bit of a value, got a glimpse into the event. But I thought I'd just give you a quick little summary of what I was talking about, because it's very, very important that you understand it in the right order. What I was sharing from stage is the need to understand good marketing. That is what sells products, not product quality. So we can get hung up on competition and branding and other people have a bigger online presence than us. So how could we possibly compete? The reality is it doesn't matter if they have a bigger program, that seems more complete, that has greater success stories, because it's the marketing that actually wins the client. That's why you've had a scenario in the past, most likely, where you buy something that sounded awesome, and then you get on the inside and it was a disappointment. Because it wasn't product quality that sold you, it was the marketing. So if we can get really good at marketing, we can beat out the competition. We can, beat, we can win the client over competition that has a business 10, 20, 30 times the size of us. Now what goes into marketing? Positioning and messaging. It's about positioning yourself in the marketplace in such a way that has you standing out above the crowd, that presents what you have in a new and refreshing and intriguing way, and positions yourself very specifically for a certain type of avatar. And if we can do that, we're gonna have those people drawn to us, and then the messaging is what we use to get those people. So we first decide who it is that we want and how we're gonna get in front of them and what we're gonna say, and then the messaging is now the way we translate that through our words, through our videos, through our scripts, through our funnels. It's the messaging that goes in to that. That's the recipe for really good marketing. Obviously, you know, the presentation was 45 minutes. Maybe we'll put it on the channel here at some point if that would be of benefit. In fact, if you'd like to see the full presentation, I might be able to get Matt's uh, permission to uh, put it on the channel. So leave me a comment on the YouTube channel here. Let me know if you'd like that and maybe we'll make it happen. Okay, I'm done. I'm out of here. Time to catch my flight, going back to Mallorca. Go back to 30 degree sun, get away from this bright and chill. I'm out of here. See ya. My bag is so big because it's full of marketing secrets. <laughs> One of the best things about these types of events is being absolutely surrounded by like-minded people and making some great new friends.